Hey, BKR Farm Soil for Life fans. Um, as I promised in my last episode of the sneak peek of the Tomna 3A, I would give you a further in-depth review. And after a week of running the machine, I felt confident that I could give you a review to, uh, to teach you a few things about it. So let's dive right in. Here's the aerial view of the Tomna 3A 2400. We go from a 42 inch belt to a 72 inch belt to an 84 inch star table finally reaching the 92 inch Tomra 3A 2400. Here is where the magic of the Tomra 3A 2400 takes place. As potatoes fall from the infeed belt, it passes through the LED cameras and the cameras are looking for the differences between potato and foreign material. It's a very complex system that takes machine learning um, a lot of manpower on the behalf of Tamra to take pictures of potatoes and foreign material and to teach the machine to distinguish between the two. As the potatoes fall, um, if a potato is seen or a foreign material is seen, the Tamra triggers the ejector fingers that happens in milliseconds. So fast so much that you're only losing the foreign material or the rotten potato. Yes, it can kick out rot. The one thing though is that the rot has to be facing the camera. It's not an x-ray machine. It's not a dual camera machine that can see 360 degrees of the potato. If the rot is facing the camera, the camera will detect that and kick it out. If the foreign material is facing the camera, it'll kick it out. This is the discharge belt of the potatoes leaving the Tamra. And from this belt, this is what we had to provide as well. There's so many different configurations out there that Tamra provides the main machine and then it's up to us to decide whether we, how we get the potatoes in it and off of it. And then the potatoes continue on down the line. Here's the main control panel of the Tamra 3A. This is the, the brains behind the machine. It is a touchscreen panel. Um, has all a bunch of different modifications that we'll walk through here in a minute. These bottom buttons, the far left is your camera button. This is what turns the cameras on. This is what turns your belting system on. The cameras run off of 110 voltage and the belts all run off of a 220 three phase voltage. So when you first load it up, here's the, the first screen. This is the monitoring screen. Um, the left is what is telling the classifiers that uh, it shows you what percentage that you're running clean. Um, the right one are the classifiers of foreign material, different sizes, different colors, different um, things like of that nature. On the left hand side, you have the adjust button, and this is where the machine learning comes in. So you have clean potato. The green is what it's looking for as far as potato color. Um, you can make those adjustments. This is what the foreign material is. So you can make adjustments here. If the potatoes get wetter, um, if they get dirtier, cleaner, um, you can make these adjustments to teach the machine what you want it to look for. Now you can also look at different programs. So different potatoes, different colors. Um, Tomra helped me set up. I have a russet file and I have chip stock file. So changing between the two is a simple push and load a different program. As you make different changes to it based on those classifiers, you can save your profiles. So I have a aggressive, least aggressive, medium aggressive, and a base. And it's just a matter of clicking them and hit run the program and run the program. So if I'm kicking out too many good potatoes or if they get dirtier or cleaner, just a push of a button and I'm good to go. If you look at the statistics, the statistics page shows you what percentage you are accepting and what percentage you're rejecting. Most of the time this is running in the 99% accept, 1% eject, re, um, reject it. This one tab, the maintenance tab, shows you which ejectors are actually kicking. Um, you can also take pictures and take an instantaneous picture, shows you everything that the camera saw in a second. You can click on it and teach the machine oh, I knew this was not a potato, um, or this was a potato, and then you can teach the machine that way. So there are many different tools and abilities that the Tomra 3A allows you to do. So there you have it, the Tomra 3A 2400 at BKR Farms in Grace, Idaho, 2023. After three weeks of running this machine, I couldn't be happier. 
it is doing a much cleaner sort, faster sort, with less people on the line than I could have imagined. More videos to come, tune back in. I'm gonna try to do a better job this year of keeping up, keeping you up to date with BKR Farms Soils for Life.